What's going on folks? It's a uh, another great day at the Mini Manor. We are majorly gaining ground on the productivity around here. I tore a deck apart that was on the front part of our property, just an old deck next to a pond that we're getting rid of. We want to fill that low area in and hopefully convert it into a bigger driveway and more yard. But with that recycled wood, and my father gave me some old metal strips, I cut those into 10 inch metal strips just to give it this decorative front face. Line the whole thing inside with plastic and what we're doing is what's called the Hugel culture method. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna line the inside with a bunch of old wood, stumps, natural wood, don't use anything treated. And then um, as you fill this whole trough up, get debris in the backwoods. We've got tons of uh, just branches and things that have fallen down so that'll help fill the volume up in here and once that volume is full we'll get some leaves and we'll put leaves on the top. And what that does is it saves us a lot of depth on not wasting a bunch of good soil because most of the plants that we're gonna put in here are gonna be things for like herbs, strawberries, mint, and the stuff that Jules doesn't want to have to bend her back over to get to. So that's our plan of attack today. And the nice thing is when you have all that wood and those leaves and things in there, they hold that moisture. So it's actual added moisture for the plants as they grow as well. Pretty fun project. It's a huge, huge flower bed or planter bed in this case. And then we have the main garden, our veggie garden right behind it that I just recently tilled. We've got our first Hugo Culture planter bed. Like I said, with recycled materials, we didn't spend a dime on any of this. And now you have this awesome planter. And then if you're wondering why I have these boards sitting here, those are to reinforce so the planter bed doesn't over time try to warp and spread open. And I've got three support posts. You can see the tall one at the end. Right back here, there's a heavy duty one. And then at the other end, there's another heavy duty one. At the very bottom, we have gravel, and then we have a weed barrier. So that prevents old weeds from getting up through there. Naturally in the soil, we're gonna get weeds. It's inevitable. Because we're buying, or we're not buying soil, we're getting our free dirt. And now we can start putting some plants in it, get it watered down, let it settle. And we're off and running. And that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you a little rundown on what I'm up to. And like I said, stay productive.